the kitchen again and I'm making a, two coconut pies this time. And so um, let's get started. Okay, so I have two tablespoons of butter in this um, melted in here. And I'm just gonna add my sugar together. And that's two cups. Now I will tell you, um, I do have the oven set on 350, it's preheating. And I um, double this recipe because if I'm gonna go to the trouble to make a coconut pie, I want two of them. So to that now, um, the recipe calls for whole milk, but I'm gonna make mine with almond milk because my um, little son has some problems with um, um, milk. I'll get it out in a minute. So I'm just gonna slowly add this and let it mix. I'm going to switch this um, out from my beater for right now just so I can mix it up and then I'm going to add now it calls for um, six eggs but I'm using um, scrambled eggs mix which will do just fine and it's a cup and three tablespoons calls for um, a tablespoon of vanilla and I'm not going to measure it because it, I mean two tablespoons so I'm not going to measure it I'm just going to put me some vanilla in there and it calls for um, it calls for I'm sorry a teaspoon two teaspoon of vanilla I don't care I love vanilla and two teaspoon of coconut um, flavoring so and it smells so good already. Ah. I have to tell you, this is my, my husband's granny's recipe, but I'm doing a little different than what she, how she cooked it. And I will probably do one one day either the way she cooked it. But right now, <laughs> um, I'm fixing it this way. And I'm just adding my flour and um, trying to get those lumps out. Now this is two cups of flour. I did not um, sift it. I'm not really worried about sifting. Let me make sure I was looking at it right. To tell you it's very difficult. I have two cameras going one for it, trying to show it up close, and then I have another one I out there, <laughs> and it's a little hard to is this one going? Is that one going? <laughs> and I just have a hard time with it. And like I said, I'm not really worried if all the flour doesn't get resolved. Um, if I was that thin food processor, <laughs> let that do its thing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mix some of this out of the way for a second, and then I'm gonna bring in one of my favorite things in the world coconut. Um, it calls for two cups of coconut, I'm gonna be honest with you. Who doesn't love coconut? Well, I have a few in my family that's weird, don't, but I love coconut, and so it's probably close to three cups of coconut instead of um. Okay, and I'm just gonna add that into my bowl. 
and I might want to just soak it down on there. like a coconut pie mixture, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna get my area cleaned up and I'm gonna be right back. So I have my um, two pies that I'm gonna be making and um, you can still see the flower a little bit, but it's done like that for me for years, and I've really never had an issue with it. So I'll stick that there, and I did keep this out so I could kind of measure them in. And I'm still not going overboard. And I may have a little bit too much mixture for my pies. Uh, these are the, I usually get the thick crust and you know, the thicker ones. And for some reason, when I ordered, I ordered this on um, Walmart, I got the smaller ones. So all the powder mixture won't go in there, but this is not going to waste. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in a pan and bake it. And then... So this dish was my aunt's. And um, when she passed away, my mama wanted me to have something of hers, and I hate to say the lid did break, because I do use it, and um, it was always the perfect size to fix something for Randy, because he didn't eat cheese, <laughs> and so when I fixed a big casserole or something, I could put something else in here for him, and uh, that's spot on there. So anyway, I'm going to put the rest of this um, mixture in there. And I did spray the bottom. Well, here's my coconut pies. Doesn't have a little spill over, but that's okay. They look so good. And there's the extra filling. And um, I hope you'll give this a try. Thank you for watching. Now take care and God bless.